It's just been over a month since NASA astronaut Scott Kelly began his year-long stay on the International Space Station. Do you have any predictions for how humans could maintain a well-balanced microbiome while living in space? You know, that's a good question. I, I do know that one of the studies I'm participating in is this microbiome research. Scott has a twin brother in the astronaut corps as well. Ten teams were chosen to study Mark on the ground and Scott in space. During the time that Scott was in space, we did see that his gut microbiome kind of remodeled. And then after he returned, it returned to something that looked more like what it had been before he went to space. These changes can occur uh, in all kinds of disease conditions, uh, including diabetes. Changes in the gut microbiome have now been associated with things like Parkinson's disease, autism, things that we really wouldn't have originally expected. So many things can affect the microbiota in the gut. Um, Obviously, the food that we eat is one. Some wasabi peas that can be somewhat messy if they get away from you. There was not a match in the diet between the two twins, and that could be contributing to why we saw some shift in the microbiome composition in Scott while he was in space. You're also talking about an extremely confined environment, no weight bearing, obviously. The astronauts have to strap themselves into a bungee cord harness to run on a treadmill. But uh, we have evidence that it's the microgravity itself which is altering the microbiome. If we're going to go to Mars and back, it's two and a half years. So we're going to want to know what's causing the changes because we may want to develop countermeasures which would prevent these changes from happening. We're already working on what to do when we get there and how to protect the people who will make the trip. The reason I'm willing to do this is I think it's uh, important research that we do and it's going to be critical someday to us uh, you know, going further out into space and hopefully to Mars someday.